start off with my brows first and I am using the wet and well brow sensitive so, and my hair right now is y'all know my hairstyle right now I have a bang so I don't really do too much um to my eyebrows y'all I don't really like I don't really, I don't really do too much, so I'm just going to push them up, and in the meantime and in between time, I'm going to take my baby skin maybe from New York Instacore Eraser, I'm just going to apply that, and since this is going to be like a soft beat, you know, a little makeup goes a long way, y'all. And I'm just gonna apply. I'm just gonna apply this primer in my T zone. My skin has been acting up, y'all. Oh no. And I'm just gonna apply it. to go just so we can settle in the skin y'all so I apply this instant pore eraser baby skin Maybelline primer in my t-zone and then I take the elf grip I haven't had a chance to um use the um milk i want to try out the milk even though a lot of people say that it's the same thing but you know it's just of a better quality so i would like to try that out as well so i'll put my primer on you guys Just putting my primer on y'all so it can just like set set in the skin. Alright, you guys, so for this soft makeup bead, I'm gonna let my primer set in the skin and yeah. Let that be going. I'm not gonna do too much to my eyebrows, y'all already know. So gonna start off by concealing my um, brow area on my I'm gonna take the real technique 332 brush and you guys a little goes a long way like since this is a soft B I don't want you know, if you saw you guys see me looking over here, I'm looking at my, at my mirror. And I just... I literally just place it here. Just to create um, a base my eyeshadow I go in with my beautiful my damp beauty my damp beauty blender and just Just a 
but there's not too much gonna be going on today, y'all. Get in like this. Then go in with my NYX Makeup Professional Ultimate Edit. And I'm gonna take just a, my normal brow right here. And just place it all over the lid, y'all. Because even if it's a soft makeup look, you still have to, you know, apply shadow, y'all. You still have to apply shadow. Soft, natural beat. You still have to apply. And I know a lot of girls, you know, before they apply their eyeshadow, they set their eye with some translucent powder or setting powder. Um, I don't do that. I just get right to work. I just let everything set in with the eyeshadows. To me, it's basically, it's, it's basically the same thing. You know, this is a soft glam. So whether or not it pops or not, it really doesn't matter to me. And, you know, so I really just don't set my eye I just go right in with my eyeshadow and as you can see it still does the same thing whether it's set with the setting powder or not so after all of that is blended I'm going to do the same to the other eye and then I'll be right back all right you guys so now that I did the other side um I don't really do too much so we're gonna move on to the face now. The primer has set and stuff. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of foundation, just a little bit. I'm gonna take my foundation brush into 17 Real Tech Sneaks. And a little, like I said, y'all, a little goes a long way. This is a soft beat, you know. Don't wanna do too much. Not too much going on, y'all. So. And for the makeup, you just wanna, and I like this Maybelline um, Matte Poreless Makeup because you can um, build coverage with it, you know? So whether you're doing a full glam, I like makeup that's, you know, that's buildable. I don't wanna deal with something that's already like thick and full coverage, only for glam or stuff like that but like real heavy purposeful makeup like something like that's every day or for natural soft beats you know a little goes a long way y'all and as you can see like um patting the makeup instead of swapping it i'm actually patting it into my skin and I'm just gonna do this all over. I'm not gonna use too much. I'm not gonna do too much. Because, like I told you guys, a little goes a long way. And yes, this is exactly the look that. So, yeah. Alright, you guys. So, now that my foundation is. On. I even put some on my neck and now that my foundation is on. <clears throat> I'm gonna go in with my oh, 16 hour concealer matte finish. You know, it's gonna be a matte face. And then I just take it. It's a soft beat. And I like a bright under eye as well. It's just not gonna be, you know, doing so much. Got to draw a little goes a long way, but I do like a uh, bright under eye though. So, and by this <clears throat> being a matte finish it does dry pretty quickly y'all so I let it sit under my eye 
for you know a little bit but the other ones but in my other areas i immediately i'm taking my expert concealer brush and um blending this out because when it dries it'd be hard to move and i had to find that out or well, realize because it is not so once it dries it's over take my brush and just make sure I'm blending it like very well you know me I'm extra I go in with my brush and still use my um and still use my beauty blender y'all so I think the brush gives it like more coverage as you can see there's literally more coverage but like for a seamless blended look, I go in with the Beauty Blender because I still have some of the foundation on it. So if it's overpowering and it's too much, and just to blend it like seamlessly, I just still blend it, you know? It's just me. So. You don't have to do too much. I'm gonna go in with my expert concealer brush and just blend, blend, blend. Because that's what it's all about, you guys. It's, it's blending. You ain't gotta be no makeup um, guru, none of that. Like, long as you blend. So I'm going with the tip of the baby blender and just you know, make sure it's where I want it to be and not, you know, moving. You know, and actually blend it out how I wanted it to be. And look, it's already drying down. You guys comment down below if you guys prefer to use a brush or just a beauty blender to blend out your makeup, your concealer and stuff. Comment down below, let me know. And if there's any like tips and tricks that you guys have, like let me know. You know, we're all here to learn. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, if there's help. If you guys got some insight on something, you know. And don't be scared. Leave it down in the comments below. But yes, you guys. Oh. I almost put that right in my arm. But yeah, I would go in with my brush first, just for like a fuller, fuller coverage, y'all. And I just bring it out. I bring it out. And then go back in with like the beauty blender and just blend it out. Make sure it's nice. You know, blend it around the edges. Go in with the beauty blender. Yeah. You know. Blend it a little more. And just like that, guys, just blend it out. We looking for a soft, like, soft beat. So for my contour, instead of going in with, you know, my contour palette, what I'm going to do is, 
go in with the caviar fancy beauty a little bit just you know a little just a little bit y'all This is an expert face brush, but I like how it's like tapered at the end. So I use it directly for um, it's contouring my face. Just for like a natural, you know, a soft, not too much going on. But under the face, under the chin, honey, it's always giving go in. It always, no matter what, it's always giving go in because no one invited you, ma'am, to the party, so. You always, you know, you always gotta go in on the little chin. Alright, yeah. So, I'm gonna blend this out. It's a lip smudger brush, but I use it to contour my nose, y'all. And I don't contour my nose to get, like, just straight down. What I actually do is enhance my nose. I don't, um, I don't do the, uh, like the straight down method. And this is a lip smudger brush. So actually, um, I'm basically just, you know, smudge it on. And then like when it's looking too harsh, like how it's looking right now, I just go in with my beauty blender, like. You know to blend it out but um uh, it's this right here moves it for me the way i want it to like i don't know it moves it the way i want to and i ain't gotta put a lot of product because usually i would have put the contour over here and draw or actually drew lines longer lines and stuff like that but since this is a soft bead i need everything like seamless and not too much going on most definitely not too much going on so as you can see with my nose contour you see how you know it's moved and it's blended but it's not blended how it looks like over in my beauty window and just blend it once it's in the place that i want it to be i just blend it just like that nothing too not too much, like nothing too crazy. Okay. And now that everything is like where and how I want it, it's time to set the face, you guys. So I just go in, make sure everything is, you know, no harsh lines. And just like blend out that harshness so for the contour I'm not I usually go in with my contour palette and then go in with the contour color but I got actually since it's a soft glam I'm going in with the infallible 24 hour bronzer you guys L'Oreal and the color 550 deep dark to um set my contour because we need a soft you know not not too much not too harsh and as you can see as you can see that's what it's given I just set my contour with an actual bronzer you guys the actual bronzer for a soft natural 
be. Set the controller. And then I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder for to set like all the other places. Go in with my puffer brush. And what I'm gonna do is before I do that, because I wanna set my nose before I set, I'm just gonna go ahead and just set my contour, you guys, with the browser as well. And this is a, like I said, this is a smudger brush, so I don't, um, I pat, I pat the product on first. I pack it on first, and then, like, lightly, you have to have a light hand and just move it. So, so first, I just pat it on, you know, and as you can see, it's coming together. I pat it on first. It like that. Okay. Take that beauty blender. Cause like I said, y'all, it's a smudger brush. So I'm gonna take this warm mercier. Okay. Tap it on the back of my hand and just bring it down my nose. Too much, not too much more. Right on the back of my hand, and just set all the places that I um place the concealer. Just set all those places. apply makeup on my neck so I'm gonna just You guys because when you do your makeup no matter if it's a soft beat a full glam natural beat you want to you know get your neck like your neck has to match your face like it has to it has to make sense you guys you know it's 2023 we got to make it make sense this year like, come on you don't have to be you know you gotta make it make sense. You gotta set it, sis. So before I go in to set my under eye, I'm just going to. I need a little bit more powder. All right, and I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and blend it out. So if there's any like creases and stuff like that, um, see any creases and stuff like this, blend it out before I set it. With this beauty blender. In tap on the back of the hands, and just And like I said, take the excess powder that's on my hand and just go over everywhere to set my face, you guys. Mocha Mommy, just a little bit of Mocha Mommy and a blush brush. 
and just go over it a little bit. That's it. Just go over the bronzer. I'm looking like Casper the Family Ghost right now. So I go back in with my contour palette, you guys, just to bring it down a notch or three. And then I take this um, soft ancient brush, go into the sculpt color, you know, and go over just to bring some warmth and some color back into it the skin but i don't take it under my eye i just put it around like the outer the like on the outer parts you guys i don't you don't see me taking it under my eye at all because i like my eyes to have to have a bright under eye and this is it just to bring the color completely down, y'all. Let's go. And then I get my setting brush. It's just a dust, like, anything away. And I set with the sculpt brush as well with the, um, So you see this line of demarcation here, you guys. It's gonna go away once I set my face with the Morphe setting spray. Just this. Like so. Not overdo it with the blush. So just Just a little, you guys. A little. Just a little bit with the blush because we're going for like a soft glam. Because you know, I can OD with the blush. I just, you know. This is a soft beat though. So just a little bit, y'all. Like, a little goes a long way. And I just basically focus my blush, like, because I have high cheekbones on my cheeks, y'all. And once I get it there, stop smiling. Just to blend it out and just like that. And basically, you just make sure that blush. Make sure that blush is on my cheeks. And then I go in with this Cover Girl Cheekers Blush in the club in the um in the color Rockin' Rose. Oh, this way, just to go over it with the blush brush. Like I said, y'all, and it's very like pigmented. Pick up a lot. I don't need a lot. It's just to set the brush. You know, y'all, I'm not so much. It's just, just to set it, you know. And make sure without focusing more my cheekbones. That's it. That's all for the face, y'all. That's it. That's all for the soft beat nothing too harsh like nothing you know nothing too harsh not, not too much going on so um <clears throat> before I move back into my eyes what I'm going to do is 
you know brush out my eyebrows again which i really which i really don't have to do much to i just brush them out because nothing really needs to be done i need to go in with i'm gonna be using these um voluminizing lashes 3d um and eo 11 just for the soft just for the soft look, you guys. So, this came from a dollar store, so I don't have a name, y'all. Just gonna go in with the mascara and just, um, on my lower lash line. Not too much going on, y'all. Not too much. it up for today and go in with the mac gold deposit you guys go in with the mac gold deposit and i'll take the 303 real techniques brush because you know i like control i don't you know want to do the fan thing the fan brush and i'll just take a little bit it's very pigmented as you can see and just pop it on my nose go in with my finger to do some blending and you know, put it in between, right there, and just, you know, it's a soft glam, so I don't want to, I'll just take whatever's left on the brush, y'all, and just, and just put it the outside, because you don't want, you know, too much going on, just a tap, bop, just a little bit. Not too much, not too much. And make sure, like, I just blend it, you guys. That's the thing with makeup. It's all about the blending, that's all. It's about the blending. Okay, put a little on my chin. Because I love highlighter, y'all. I go in with the highlighter. I ain't for the gap. And with the highlighter, especially right here in the picture space, it's just so long, y'all. So, alright. Blast that on that. Going with the Morphe setting spray. And just set my face. gotta be you know i gotta set him too he need to be set too because and i don't let it dry all the way because like i said you see these lines of demarcation um i let it set a little bit like get like kind of tacky like like not too dry and then i go back in with my beauty blender and just because it still has product and foundation and everything on it and just you know blend it out Blend it into the skin, y'all. Really just blend everything out, like for real. Because that's the key, is to blend. You see? Blend, blend, blend. Everything is set. I don't let it like literally dry down. Because I want to press the product into the makeup. Like, I want to make sure everything is, like, you know, on 10. Okay. And after that's what I do with my beauty blender. I just really... Okay. over everything make sure everything is like blended and the 
this is it so far you guys so for the lip it's a soft beat i'm going to go in with the nyx um espresso and for my skin color you guys this this liner really don't show up on my skin on my um skin tone you guys so they don't as you can see, like there's nothing going on, but just stay with me, stay with me. Let me revive out real fast. I just still line my lips. You know, even though you can barely see anything, but I still line my lips. Just give me a minute. Make it make sense in a minute. And the next, and then I go in with a black liner just to enhance it, just a a tad little bit, you know, guys, like a tad bit. But I make sure I blend it. And this is the next. This comes from no, this Ruby Kisses 24 Hour Waterproof. And you see just to enhance it a little bit like a little bit goes a long way because uh, you don't want to see how it just deepened it just a little bit y'all not a lot baby girl just a little bit this is a soft lamb and i'm gonna go in with my velvet teddy by mac velvet teddy if you guys can see that you know, just to finish off the look. And it's, I like because it it's like a really, like, nude for me. Okay. No. Not too much going on. And just go back in with that espresso a little bit and just express you know go back in just to, just to define it and yeah i'm not gonna put any gloss on it because this is like a soft beat you guys so this is it you guys and if I wanted to be extra as I am, I didn't put my lashes on yet. And I'm going to come back with my lashes on and my hair did to finish off this video. If you made it here this far, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. Tell a friend and tell a friend. Don't, you know, hesitate to hit me up on all my social media platforms. I do like engaging with you guys. Um, all of my social media platforms are in the description box below. Follow your girl on Instagram. You know, I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to grow my channel. I'm trying to grow my social media platform. So, you know, help us sustain me. But, um, yeah, you guys, I'm coming back with my lashes and my hair did. Just going to give you guys a little one, two, one, two. I'm going to get even a little closer. The lip. Alrighty, you guys, if you made it this far, this is the finished look. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on all my social media platforms. They are in the description box below. Share, tell a friend or tell a friend and watch my previous videos. And yes, I like how this look came out. It's very cute, not too much, very soft, glam, and yeah. I like it. If you guys wanna see anything else or you know, leave it down below in the comments. Let me know in the comments below what else you want to see. And yeah, y'all, don't forget, do your makeup. Don't let your makeup do you.